And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Fulham versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Harrison Reid on to Wilson. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. He's got the right idea with that pass. And reading it absolutely superbly. Gabriel Martinelli. Jacker with it. Thomas Partey. Martinelli. And players waiting in the centre. Partey. Chance to put them in front. And a goal! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. And underway again, Arsenal on the side in front. He's protecting it effectively. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. Tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there in search of the equaliser. Short corner taken. Tim Ream, really vital interception here. Gabriel Jesus. And Mitrovic. Pereira. Very quick thinking there. Ben White. Saka. It's with Erdogan. Granit Xhaka Martinelli Oh, a nice looking pass Oh, he's found the net And that increases the advantage to two Just what they wanted And just what they deserve Well, here it is again And credit to the goal scorer But you have to ask questions of the keeper He's got to have that near post cover for me No wonder he's frustrated with himself Nil here, and the ball is moving again. Martinelli. 
Willian. Mitrovic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Martinelli. Will he play it in? Tremendously strong in the tackle. Adarabayo. Harry Wilson. Pereira. Palinha. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Now, they'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Craven Cottage. So, back underway here into the second half. Wilson, Mitrovic, great pressure to win the ball back, a goal, and it's very much game on here. Well, as you can see, what an excellent back hill this is to set up the goal, and he makes the finish look so easy, what a good goal that is. ball is moving again anyone's guess how this is going to finish 2-1 currently Ben White Saka it's neat passing confidence on the ball Gabriel Jesus and a goal they've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Jesus. Willian. Saka, now with Jesus. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Jesus. A lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Threading it forward. There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Really say defences are on top. Three, two. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. White. An encouraging Arsenal move. It should be, and into the net from Gabriel Jesus.
Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Pereira moving into the advanced position but nothing comes of it good defending it was well, being pressed here wants to attack from the wide areas Gabriel Jesus, really vital interception here. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, I think they've been a bit unlucky today. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, they've just been found wanting, particularly defensively. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. William Saliba. Are really pressing their opponents. Gabriel Jesus. Difficult to stop him. And options in the centre. Xhaka. Credit to them for winning back possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? Well, it looks highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Martin Odegaard. Saka. A run to Rome on the wing. And teammates to play it to. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Gabriel Jesus entitled to feel very pleased on the back of this. Sum up his performance for us. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant.